What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Krisha Turner. I am here at Boom Mass Camp, Flatbush, Brooklyn, a couple blocks up from Eastern Parkway, where every year on Labor Day weekend, the Caribbean community here in New York celebrates our version of Carnival. I'm going to show you some of the costumes, the music, just the culture, and everything Caribbean in general, made hot by nutriment, fueling the culture. So I started math a little late. My first time was in 2015, where I did Jamaica. But since then, I've probably done about six different carnivals. They happen back to back to back, starting with Trinidad every year, going from Jamaica to the Bahamas to Bermuda, all the way to New York. This is the front line, and we have back line, and then two mid lines. This particular section also has some fabulous headpieces. I personally like this one. I think it's beautiful. I love, I love one pieces, like full body one pieces. As somebody who has been to many, many carnivals, they are some of the most epic memories of my life. Dancing, music, food, culture, everything to me, it's, it's an experience that is far, far more worth than the ticket price. How much detail and planning goes into a, a section every year? I mean, it depends on each designer. Me, personally, I started designing this section at, I would say, the end of last year. It was around Thanksgiving that I literally started sketching out what I was thinking. And then from there, I went, chose the feathers and the fabric, and basically pieced everything together pretty much to make it come to life. Are you interested in playing for Labor Day? I'm doing a show with Bungie and Marshall, so now that I know I'm here, now I'm considering you on a truck in. in a costume. Yes, I might have to. I love your liberty with, with the dripping jewelry that's in, in all of your designs. Yeah, because it's treasure, so you know you have to have the blade. What fuels you as a designer? What fuels you every year looking forward to carnival? The smile when I see a masquerader come and pick up their costume is priceless. I can't buy that. I can't put a price tag on it. It's like, you know, wow, I have my costume. They start prepping. You know, in the mask camp, they're excited. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my goal. Part of this whole experience is we're trying to convince more people to become a part of our culture. If you were to give them, any first timers, one word of advice, or one rule, what would it be? Just don't hold back. Don't, don't hold, hold back. back. Don't be stush. That's what we call it. We, we don't no be stushness. Stush. You know? So you come, you have to free up. Just enjoy the vibes, enjoy it everything about it you know it's because it's, it's all fun Absolutely. you know it's all fun and if somebody come and whine on you whine back you know? exactly. that's it. It's, a, it's carnival that's what we're about so thank you smile no problem it was lovely to meet you Same and we'll see you on the road of course all we're right. gonna see you on the road. pan could play anything mm -hmm. classics chinese music indian music whatever music you think yeah. about the pan could play it yeah. but you know the violin can't play that yeah. <laughs> you know you have to look for a sita to play Indian music and you know, you try with the violin is difficult. Just as how you would use a saxophone or a trumpet or a clarinet, Pan has risen above the rest.